Hey folks, Fernando doing another video for the More Survivalists and this is gonna be a video about my EDC Coronavirus Edition. I already did one of these and I don't even remember what I had in it, but pretty sure it's something somewhat similar to this. Um, so a few little adjustments here and there um, adapting to the existing situation. Let's get started right away. First of all, the basics that anyone has when going out is your wallet, your cell phone. In my case, it's just a typical leather wallet with the pockets for the, the sleeves for the cards so that they don't fall off. So they go along in this direction. And maybe one of the little changes is, yes, I have some spare cash, I have a few coins there, but I really try to use the, um, the credit card because it is a lot less a hassle and it's a lot cleaner instead of taking someone's change, you know, dirty hands and such. So trying to keep contact uh, to the minimum using uh, cards instead. Uh, then in terms of cell phone, I still have my good old LG G6, which has been working great, no reason to change it so far. And the little different strategy is I just keep it in one of my pockets and when I go out I don't take it out I just leave it in the pocket don't touch it and don't check any messages or anything and just have it with me in case of emergencies but it goes out uh, once it's in the pocket I don't touch it I don't handle it so as to not contaminate with anything and get it out of the pocket as soon as I'm back home wash my hands and so on um, you know little changes that we make because of the the pandemic then I have uh, some nitrile gloves these are these are quite yeah these are a little bit nicer than your latex gloves um, latex gloves are a little bit more fragile in nitrile gloves are a little bit more a uh, puncture and tear resistant so those are are nice and they don't have any of that dust or powder which some latex gloves have I still have a couple boxes of latex gloves but you know using them only for um, you know shorter periods of time these are just better and I don't like the powder because it kind of gets into everything and especially with my gas mask I don't want to have that powder getting into my my filters right that is kind of one of the things that, that bother me about those latex latex gloves in terms of, of mask well this is the one I'm wearing it's a general service respirator GSR by Scott it is definitely a nice mask it's a little bit bulky it seems or a little bit um, you know seems like too much but man it is so much better than going around with these things these are okay you know your typical 3m this is actually better than your a classic n95 this is rated as ffp3 which would be better than your n95 it's closer to an n100 uh, but there's even with a valve and everything this one has a little valve there that for exhaling this is just so much better it just air flows a lot better it's not getting and I don't have to worry about having eye protection it's all in the same uh, mask so it's protecting my eyes it's of course protecting my uh, my mouth and, and as I'm breathing in and the airflow is fantastic I've, I've worn this in a previous pandemic with um, with H1N1 in, in Buenos Aires and I had something very similar to this one and I used to take this to university and it's just it kind of sucks I mean it's okay of course a lot better than nothing but learning over the years yes I got myself I actually checked and I got this one like eight years ago now <laughs> so I've had this I didn't just rush and buy it now I've had it for yes uh, eight years um, seemed to check in the in the video that I first did about the GSR man I love the mask it is just the air flows a lot better there's no fogging inside is well designed and very sturdy as well um, the filters though are a little bit harder to get but you can remove one of the adapters and use 40 millimeter NATO uh, canister filters but of course these are very nice as well uh, in terms of my keys these are just the same keys as always this is just my my car keys and house keys I have uh, uh, through night and I'll leave the links for some of this stuff below guys it, I won't leave the link for the GSR because I, it's not available in, in Amazon but I leave it for um, for the other stuff this is a Claros Mini 1T which is a nice little flashlight and the uh, Victorinox manager this is like the compact version of the mini champ which is one of my favorite little multi-tools and I have here a uh, Philip, uh, Philips uh, screwdriver cap a, a bottle opener and wire stripper a small blade of course and on the other side we have little pair of scissors which are handy and um, 
like a nail file which comes in handy as well every once in a while and a flat screwdriver and tweezers and a little pen which yes I pretty much use all of this stuff here I like the the manager a lot it's a nice little multi-tool and that's it as you see I don't have my favorite tool which is my uh, Lerman charge uh, reasons well I just didn't take it to me I just didn't take it with me today and just keeping this honest uh, why did I, I was looking in to take maybe what my wingman instead or some other letterman I just didn't want to have my uh, charge which I use around the house often and I didn't want to have to disinfect it uh, so I just didn't get around to take a multi tool with me but man I'm just getting into the car driving to the store or buying a few things heading back home uh, still I do want to have a flashlight with me because I think it's crucial it's essential part of your um, EDC again uh, links for all of this stuff below this is a pretty cool flashlight the through night TC 15 I recently reviewed it was sent to me by the good folks over at, at through night and yeah I mean I'm liking it and the reason why I'm going with this one besides you know testing it because it was sent it for that but um, my take is I want to have something a little bit better, a little bit sturdier, and a little bit more powerful, giving everything going on. Every once in a while, I like to check out around the house and have a little bit stronger light, and this is definitely that. It is not super big, it's a little bit bulkier than the one I usually will have as my EDC light, but you have a lot more power. This is like 200 and something lumens, almost like 3,000 lumens. I think it's 2,500 lumens. I don't know, remember, I don't remember exactly, but it is definitely more powerful and you have a reflector that gives you a lot more throw and you have a power indicator as well. So it's, yeah, it's more of a heavy duty type of light. And finally, in terms of my pocket knife, I'm going with a more utilitarian Tanto half-half, half serrated have straight edge. Yes, more of a utilitarian, practical um, a pocket knife. Still very sturdy, still very handy, of course. Cold Steel makes some good stuff, and in my opinion, the Voyager series is one of their, their best series. Again, if I find it, I'll leave the link for that as well. Folks, if you're interested in my take of survival and preparedness, this sort of thing, remember that there's always my books available in Amazon, especially regarding this sort of stuff in Street Survival Skills. I do address it quite thoroughly in terms of gear and talking specifically about everyday carry, what you should have, why that is, the reason for all of this. Uh, yes, it's covered into quite a bit of detail. Even I go into the, I, go, I even go into kind of like the clothes you wear um, and such. For example, the clothes I, I was wearing today, there's a logic to it. Uh, I went with um, hiking pants that are synthetic uh, fiber. That means it's less absorbent. It's easier to throw into the washing machine and just wash it. It's not going to be absorbing as much as, say, for example, jeans. And on, on top, I would have my windbreaker with a hood covering my head and uh, as much as possible. Um, that's all part of the philosophy that I go for. So this is going to be available in Amazon as well. Link there too for you folks. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell button to get any future updates and follow me on Instagram. It's fairfile308, leaving the link there too in case you want to check it out. Folks, have a great day. See you on our next video.